huffed Henry. Goods arrive night and day at the docks. Sometimes Henry and the other engines work so hard that their axles ache. Sir Topham had brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workloads. He was long and had ten drive wheels. He looked very strong. Shouted Salty. Called Harvey. Cried Thomas. Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was coupled to a long, long line of heavy freight cars. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for, for some peace and quiet, but everywhere he went it was noisy and crowded. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a, a good night's rest, but Salty and Harvey were full of questions. Huffed Harvey. The next morning, Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. This time, he chuffed into the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, he had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, his driver applied the brakes. There were sheep on the tracks, said the driver. The driver and the fireman tried to chase the sheep back, first this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but nothing worked, complained the fireman, sighed the driver. Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. Sir so Topham Head was enjoying afternoon tea when he got the call. He exclaimed loudly. The sheep were becoming noisier and noisier, groaned Murdoch. Just then, Toby chuffed into view, exclaimed Murdoch. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to work, and the sheep were soon safely in their field. Murdoch was on his way again. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. He chuffed, said Harvey, added Salty. Murdoch smiled. The sound of ba 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 would have kept him awake, but a salty story would send him happily to sleep.